Al Rolls is the reporter thrown into the secretive world of the 4X supermodel where nothing is as it seems. Beware the techno monk and steer clear of Professor Coe and his two assistants. Give the senior trader a wide berth and don't expect any sense from the risk manager. Good morning, I'm Professor Clode and this is the Forex Supermodel Daily Briefing for Monday the 19th to the 7th, uh, 2021. The time is uh, 0440 GMT, uh, 20 to 5 in the morning. Uh, Asian session coming to close, European session firing up, our lunchtime North American session. Right, Friday the 16th then, the last full trading day, uh, we had uh, a negative unopposed driver in the pound at minus 130. No backdoor flows, the opposing positive, po positive flows mainly going into the dollar at plus 89, into the euro at plus 39, and the yen was the positive rock at plus 2, activity plus or minus 130. Last week, just to remind you then, this was from the uh, Monday the 12th to Friday the 16th, we had a negative opposed driver in the pound at minus 315. Front and back door flows mainly going in, uh, into the yen at uh, plus 315, into the dollar at plus 245, and the euro was the negative rock at minus 119. Activity plus or minus 434. So last week then we had pound weakness driving, uh, mainly going into the yen and the dollar, and the euro was getting back door weakness. Um, right, intraday then, this is uh, the Asian session to about 15 minutes ago. We've got a, a where is it, uh, it's a positive uh, opposed driver here. Positive opposed driver in the yen at plus 97. Front and back door flows mainly coming out the pound at minus 90. Out the euro at minus 27 and the dollar is the positive rock at plus 20. Activity plus or minus 117. Right, so what's been knocking about? So uh, today we've got a light day today. Uh, Monday, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday the 20th, we've got China rates decision. Uh, Wednesday, we've got uh, 21st, we've got AUD retail sales. Thursday, 22nd, we've got ECB uh, rates decision. And the OPEC uh, meeting has uh, decided to increase supply from August. Right, so let's uh, let's have a look at the flows. Our trades are, uh, are still under the caution, they've come back. We're about... Um, minus 400 points from a peak of six and a half thousand so uh, that's where we are we're still uh, we're still sort of on the wrong end of things but uh, it hasn't moved much to be honest right uh, right so uh, the euro then uh, is strong except against the dollar the yen and the swiss the yen is strong across the board um, the pound is weak except against the CAD, the AUD and the NZD, the commodity currencies, uh, the Swiss, the Swiss is strong except against the yen which is stronger, uh, the CAD, the CAD is weak except against the AUD, NZD, the uh, AUD is weak across the board, the NZD is weak except against the AUD uh, and the dollar is strong except against the yen and the Swiss. Right, so what have we got? We've got yen strength in the Asian session, got AUD weakness, NZD weakness, basic, basically you've got commodity currencies uh, weak, you've got uh, the sort of, you've got the Swiss is strong, the yen strong, it's a sort of a risk off sort of scenario, isn't it? Really, so uh, anyway, that's where we are. There, um, let's have a look at uh, what are we talking? Uh, the, the asset classes, so let's have a look at the, the dollar index, um, right? So, US dollar index, um, US dollar index, uh, where are we? Let's have a look. So, it's basically uh, sort of it. It's it's just come off its highs really, but it's uh, it's very the dollar's very high in terms of the dollar index. Gold uh, gold's come off a bit off the back of that. It's 0 0.45 from the high. It's still above half mark, so so gold's uh, hanging in there. Oil 
has had this OPEC, OPEC uh, uh, it's basically come off, it's about 0 0.40 from the high, 40% off the high. Uh, Wall Street uh, has had this sort of uh, double top which it's come off and it's 0 0.31 from the high. Uh, S&P did this break and it's come back, it's 0 0.25 from the high. Tech likewise had this break and it's 0.22 from the high. So equities have come off but they're still strong. Um, uh, US 10 year, which is the bond, uh, it's got this sort of look about it. Uh, it's come off slightly in terms of price but it's, but it's right up there. So yields, U, US yields in 10 year uh, bond terms uh, are, are relatively soft, uh, quite soft, and, and, and the Bund, which is the European equivalent, uh, uh, has actually broken here, uh, and so European yields are, are also being viewed as soft, uh, and arguably uh, they're, they're outstripping uh, the softness of the uh, US, which is interesting with the ECB rates decision coming up, uh, the Euro uh, is, um, where are we here, the Euro um, is strong except against the dollar, the yen and the, and the Swiss. So you've got, a, you've got a lot of divergence going on in the market. Um, copper, copper's still got this sort of very, very, this is on the daily chart, uh, it's got this sort of choppy look, so it's 0 0.40 from the floor, and US steel really doesn't want to know. It's basically come off it's 0.15 from the floor so really bumping along the floor now right so uh, let's just uh, finish off with a bit of analysis as we said our, our trades are about minus 400 points uh, uh, roughly um, swinging around a bit this morning um, so we're we're short uh, USD dollar against euro pound uh, AD and we're short NZD against euro pound CAD and AD. Right so uh, as we said uh, we've got we've got AD uh, uh, data on um, Wednesday the 21st which is the retail sales uh, We've got ECB rates decision coming out. Um, uh, we've got China rates decision um, and the oil, uh, the OPEC decision on the CAD there. So uh, um, basically, we're we're, we're going to expect um, uh, we're expecting further further distress in our positions. Uh, until all this sort of washes out. Uh, so um, if you're short term trading, you, you'd want to reverse out oppositions. You'd want to go, uh, you'd want to think about going long uh, USD and, and long uh, NZD. Uh, but we're, we're going to have none of that. We're, we're staying uh, where we are because we're, we're not short term traders, we're, we're positional traders. And this is where we're at. So, uh, so um, basically, that's what's going to happen, hopefully. Um, uh, there's a light day to day, day to day today, so uh, the market could be pushed around all over the place. So uh, just be aware of that if you're short term trading. Anyway, hope that was useful. Um, uh, see you tomorrow for the daily briefing. Thank you for watching.